Hi Libra. This is Priscilla with Psychic MD and I'm here to do your August 2021 reading. And before you get rolling here, I'm going to light a fire. Not really. I'm going to light up some sage, get rid of any other vibes except for Libra. So I'm asking for very clear messages for Libra. Anything that's going to be helpful, concise, lucrative inspiring whatever Libra needs we want Libra to get during this time this is actually I had to wet it to turn it off and so now it's like resisting my it's resisting my fire so Libra in this reading we're gonna go ahead and get the energies of what's going on with you for the month of August and then afterwards, um, during this month, you're going to get two additional readings, just so you know, about like a 14-day reading, that kind of a thing. Additional. Just because we can. Just because we can. Love that smoky quartz. I don't love the smoke so much. I'm a wee bit not into the smoking feeling if you can't tell okay what do they say when you burn sage if somebody's uncomfortable then it's working <laughs> okay so here we go so i would love to know for libra for the month of august 2021 what can libra expect for this month what messages does Libra need to hear? Thank you. What else does Libra need to know? Like, literally, sage is in my mouth. So, we're going to have to fix that. Okay. Pardon. Whew. Okay. That was a lot. So, what else do we need to know for Libra? Yeah. Libra for August 2021. I would love to know what else Libra needs to know. We're going to take these. So, the first thing I have is the Nine of Fire. Feeling a little bit defensive. Feeling like you need to... Hmm. I feel like wishing upon a star energy, feeling like you have this desire you're not telling anybody about. You're maybe holed up, caved up, hunkered down, whatever you want to call it. Um, really kind of withdrawn, very withdrawn energy is what I'm feeling so far. And you're not talking to anyone, I feel. You're just kind of like checking things out on your own, which is fine. What I'm going to tell you is I have the Ten of Earth, and that came out reverse. So I don't like when it came out reverse because this is like a loss of money, a loss of stability. Could be like loss of family, hopefully not. Um, a loss of loyalty, just feeling like things aren't quite like stable. Now, if you're looking out into the world and you're seeing that everything's a hot mess, that would make sense to me. Maybe you're trying to get your own perspective on things and feeling like everything's unstable. That makes sense to me. I also feel like, Libra, you're getting a lot of messages from Spirit yourself. Um, and I feel like you're not telling anybody. You're not willing or ready to share that with anybody. It's your prerogative, right? Queen of Air. This can stand for somebody... Mm, Somebody in your life, I want to say an older person, that could be a mom, mother figure, who's incredibly, um, incredibly sharp, intellectual, they can cut with their words sometimes, they see and observe everything, this is like, they have a lot of wisdom, they could be into crystals as well, they could be very airy, meaning very intellectual, like a lot of thoughts running in their head that all points of time but they have this huge white bird and that is just a white bird that's vigilance I get a protector a reporter somebody who's reporting to this person there is another queen of earth and we have it could be a mom as well 
Now, some of you guys do know, some don't. My son is Libra. He doesn't watch my channel. He could care less. So, I am going to say this would be myself, and this would be his stepmom, and she would be more of the queen of earth. She's very grounded, very... Hmm. I feel like very salt of the earth. She's very intelligent, very gentle, whereas I tend to be not gentle. Okay. So we're very different. Um, this could be two women in your life. And where are you headed, Libra? Okay. These two women are kind of weighing in and you're on the defensive, not saying a lot, but you're looking good for you. Number seven is a very spiritual card. This is about like harnessing your own personal power. The positive and negative polarities. This is about even looking at things like, is that really positive? Is that really negative? Let me just like re-explore. Because you don't have to go on what you've been told. You're going to make your own damn decisions. And Libra, good for you. Okay? I like that. I do feel like there is movement. What is going on? we got a lot of people in your life, Libra. A lot of characters. Queen of Fire. This could be a boss. This could be a love interest. It could be a mom. I don't know. Okay? This could be a partner. And three people involved. So this person is a mover and a shaker. They have their own business. They're very astute. They keep things to themselves. And this right here, they follow their solar plexus. Like whatever it is that's in their heart, they create from that space. And it gives them a lot of joy, but they're kind of closed mouthed about it. Okay. We have Libra, the Emperor. This is about hierarchy, about the Emperor, about do as I say, not as I do. Do as you're told. So you could be feeling that pinch as well. The ruler of the world. Could be about your stability. This guy has a sword that's willing to go ahead and use it if need be. Their hand is on there casually, right? What else is going on? That's a lot. Why are all these people? Let's get clarification. Why are all these people here for Libra, please? Four of Wands, this has to do with your home life, your stability. Everybody is just kind of like doing their own thing, feasting on their own thing. There's even a birthday cake here and nobody cares because they're all zombies. Nobody wants cake. It's like Marie Antoinette. Look at me cake and nobody wants cake. Why? Because we're zombies. That's what this card says. So what's going on? Maybe you feel like the people in your home are not um, giving you what you need. You don't feel comfortable. You don't feel stable. That kind of a thing. Six of Cups, you're feeling nostalgic about the past, about maybe a schoolmate, somebody you grew up with, about friendships, nostalgia. It could be about somebody that you had a little crush on, somebody who lived on your street, in your neighborhood, something like that. Vibration number six, I have a number six here again, repeating itself, but this is about moving. So maybe you're thinking about moving, moving closer to your old neighborhood, me, moving closer to where you used to live, um, where you grew up, maybe you're moving towns, anything like that, okay? Libra. Hmm. We've got the chariot. A lot of movement for you guys, Libra. We have got a lot of movement going for you, okay? Harnessing your personal power. This is like I'm determined. I'm headed off the beaten path. We're going to let those zombies deal with their own messes. I'm going to make a decision and fire away if I have to. But I'm going. Then you have the king of swords here. Another person. Oh my goodness. You have too many people trying to be your boss, I think. Libra. And these could be all like a mixture of co-workers and family members or lovers. I don't know what your situation is. King of Swords, somebody, again, who is intellectual. This is kind of like a similar vibration as a Queen of Air. Super intelligent, maybe emotionally distant though. Ready to defend what they believe in and what is there. Yeah. I feel like they could be a collector of sorts. This could be your father or some male figure in your world or somebody with male energy. 
Libra, what else do we have going on here? We have the star. About time. So you're getting the hell out of with the Dodgers. Too many people in your mix, I feel. The star, number 17, it adds up to a number 8 by the time I reduce it. And this is about, this is what I want. I'm going to go after it military style with precision, with a plan, with a strategy. I'm not going to really tell a lot of people, if anybody. I'm only going to tell them when I deploy my plan, okay? Maybe some of you guys are going into military. I don't know. Then we have the tower. Maybe your decision to follow your dream, pursue your own life, your own dream, regardless of what everybody else says, is going to really have people in an uproar. We've got the number 16 for the tower, which adds up to a number 7, another spiritual number. But this is about things that are no longer serving their purpose, crumbling. Okay? You're looking at things in a brand new way. You're looking at what is solid in life for you and good for you. So, Libra, what else do we have? We want to know about, let's go with a spiritual perspective and then we'll check romance, okay? Libra, what's going on here as far as a higher spiritual perspective? What do we need to know for Libra? For August 2021, please. If you can like, share, comment, subscribe, don't forget to do that for me and hit that notification bell so when I put stuff out there, you will know. Deep replenishment, you need to rest, retreat, and be held, okay? That's what the card says. So maybe you want to like get anywhere near water. It's going to be really helpful to you. I feel like you do have Libra, a lot of watery energy, okay? like you have something going on with the moon a deep connection with the moon that you're turning your back on um she's even offering flowers okay flowers to the future kind of like being optimistic and being like okay things bloom here everything is chaotic behind me and i want that behind and gone that kind of a thing now the star seed deck this one says um libra what lights you up what gets you inspired what makes you feel like you're the best version of you okay that's going to be really important for you to get in touch with those emotions and do a little bit of play have some fun celebrate and don't be so serious get out of your head a little bit get that energy moving and know that you are divinely guided okay you could be feeling like you have um a lot of like spiritual help around you which is really good obviously um this is loved ones that have maybe crossed over so it says council of light divine orchestration helpers in the subtle realms and you do have i feel like you feel them there okay nothing to be afraid of libra we're going to go ahead and check those of you that are in a relationship situation marriage anything like that what do we need to know for Libra? Okay, trust. If you're in a marriage, if you moved in together, this situation is calling for you to have faith. Hmm. Have faith. And I see the little cherub guy with his arrow pointing down. He's like, I don't need it anymore. She's definitely taken by this person. And yet this soldier is pointing towards a past. It's kind of interesting. Let's see where, well, what's, what's up with that? The Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like things are going to get better. If you're in a partnership, I feel like your partner is actually loyal to you. Um, looking out for your best interests, looking over your shoulder. They have your six. They've got your back. What, however you want to say it, okay? What else do we need to know for the partner very soon? Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. For those of you in a relationship, clearly decide even what you want. If you want more spice in your life with your partner, decide it and make it so. Okay? Be clear about that. I feel like there's a great tenderness between you. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not going to pretend to know your life, okay? Something about being hypnotized with this card. Things are going to get better once you break the hypnosis. That bond of uh, being in a deep sleep. This is what we call being woke. This is 
um, the great awakening of looking at the world with new eyes, things that we've never seen before. And if you're a partner, you can have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay? That was really hard to say. So if you want something a little bit spicy, flirty with your partner, it's going to be up to you to recapture that playfulness. Maybe take your partner to the playground if that's allowed, if it's not illegal at this point in time. Um, maybe, I don't know, cut, you know, cut some flowers for her or brush her hair or give them a massage. I don't know, him or her, whatever the case may be. Just do something a little bit different. You can role play. There's a ton of stuff that you can do. This is not a sex reading, so we're not going to get in that. Okay, so Libra, for those of you that are not partnered, have no, nobody on the hook, nobody in the works, nothing going on, not dating anyone seriously or talking to somebody seriously. What do we have going on here for Libra? I'm taking these. Engagement. What? Okay, maybe somebody's going to engage you in a conversation. So your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So maybe you have your eye on a sweetie. I don't know. I think there is like a protectiveness. Um, a little bit. They look kind of secreted away. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Just because you're religious does not mean you can't have a love life, okay? You deserve love. You are lovable. Libra. I love Libra, obviously. I love Libra. Libra are just like always willing to do whatever it takes to really appease the situation to help other people make other people happy but in that please make sure that you are not losing yourself okay so that is going to be your reading flirt a little bit guys get your flirt on what i said it get your flirt on so with that thank you so much namaste we'll see you soon